and I understand you raised five percent of his money, and you don't have any of his connections, and you got thirty-six percent of the vote. Well, that's a pretty good uh, return on investment. I would say somebody like that ought to be uh, operating our state budget. I could disagree with you on that. Now, uh, as far as the issues go, I know I had asked you four specific questions dealing with the economy, education, and mortgages, and I videoed you on that, and you responded in writing to me yesterday. Your opponent uh, has not. So I'm waiting for Cyrus Habib to respond. Mm -hmm. And when he does, I'll forward all of those responses uh, to the World Wide Web and to uh, area television. Fair enough. And, uh, and your questions were not specific to mortgage necessarily. I mean, you asked a variety of questions. So, um, yeah, I, I look forward to hearing his responses. Indy, well, there's a McCleary question on education, mm -hmm. and there were uh, questions on taxation, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see where it all comes out. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Again, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. Michelle Darnell claims that she's ready to play with the big boys down in Olympia. She certainly doesn't have their big money or their big influence, but she does have 36% of the vote, with less than 5% of Cyrus Habib's money. And unlike Habib, she answered four key questions I posed to both candidates two weeks ago. I took a walk with the candidate yesterday at Kirkland's uh, Farmer's Market to discover what I'd already thought. Once people meet Michelle Darnell, they love Michelle Darnell. And it's like pulling, everybody's pulling themselves up by their bootstraps. Mm -hmm. What is the other side of the coin doing? Like, nothing. 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 Yeah. And a big part of our problem with our education system, actually, is the teacher training itself. Yeah. It's become so big and bloated. I have a friend who has a teacher. She's a professor at Shoreline. Sure. She's in the union. She hasn't got a raise in 10 years. Okay. Where's the money going? Yeah. You know, the money is going. We got big labor, big corporations, and big government yeah. that are freaking sucking us dry. Yeah. And, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to stir them up. Okay. We had our primary yesterday. I actually got fairly good numbers. I'm running against the state rep. He's a sitting state okay. rep. And we're fighting like, for the same seat. He's a Democrat. Yeah. I'm a Republican, but I'm a populist Republican. I believe yeah. in free enterprise. This, my friend, yes. is free enterprise. Absolutely. Get government the heck out of the way. Let people be, you know, ingenuity, excellence, efficiency. Get these big workers, you know. More power to the people, more power to small business, more power to parents. Let them choose their schools. Yeah. You know, Washington State is 40 years behind 27 other states in the union in terms of parental choice. Well, I was really encouraged by the numbers that I got today, or, or excuse me, yesterday. Um, I'm really honored to have the support of the community. Um, as I'm out doorbelling, I feel like our message is right on point. Uh, the most the most significant thing I could do right now is uh, to increase exposure. Um, I think that the more people I can get the message out to, uh, the, the better those numbers will be. I, I'm actually very energized by the numbers I got. They were quite respectable. Um, I'm getting, uh, as of today, I'm getting significant support, um, you know, as, as a viable candidate for the uh, general election.